times have I heard from Sheikh Zulfikar? He used to say to us that the mind will always generate bad thoughts. The mind will always generate bad thoughts. It's not the goal of the salik that they remove or rid themselves of bad thoughts. Yes, they can decrease the frequency by spending time in zikr and by avoiding the environments of sin. But there will always be some thoughts in the mind that will arise. Your job is not to completely eradicate those thoughts. Your job is to be a traffic cop, a policeman at an intersection. What do they do? They make sure that the traffic keeps moving and it doesn't pile up. So that when a bad thought comes into the mind, your job is to then remove it immediately with la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah or by making some sort of dhikr, etc. But the idea is that you move these things along, move along, move along. Don't let it take hold because once it takes hold, it'll plant itself and it'll be very difficult to remove. So we have to be very careful that when we come into those environments, we don't let these things plant we get them out of our mind. We don't ruminate on them. We don't sit and reflect on them and plan and plot. That, oh, if I was this and if I was that and I was with this person and I was with that, then I'd be like that. Once these thoughts start spinning in the mind, then the mind takes it to a level far beyond where it probably will ever be. And then the imagination begins to fertilize it and begins to water it and begins to provide it with sunlight. It's very difficult to then remove that notion. Then that little notion becomes eventually a plan and a plot and eventually becomes a sin. And then slowly, slowly, slowly Shaitan drags the person down the road that they never thought they would be. They, would, they never thought they would travel down such a road. A person should recognize that once these things take hold, they are very <laughs> difficult to eradicate. A person should be cognizant that the moment these types of situations arise, they should go and seek assistance then. So much easier to remove that weed than trying to remove a tree. Now how is the teacher then going to remove that tree? So we have to be very careful that if we have to go into such environments, right, that when we are in those environments, we are very careful how we interact. We are totally cognizant of the possibility at any moment of catching a spiritual malady. And then, when we are out of that environment, we make istighfar, tawbah, come to the masjid, wash away the effects, put time into dhikr, so that we remove the possibility of that ever taking hold in our heart.